Hey, here we are up in Indianapolis uh, at the field house. This is where the Indiana Pacers play. For all you Indiana Pacers fans, sorry they're not in the finals. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we're up here with Hillsong United, who are out on tour with the Zion record, which is absolutely phenomenal. And uh, I'm here with Michael Chislett, my good friend, and Dylan Thomas. They both play in the group, and Michael's been producing um, Hillsong's record for a long time. I wanted to just have a moment with them and uh, talk about, wow, what a long history it's been that we've been together for eight years. Yeah. Well, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> in a very, you know, pro, pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pro, yeah, pro, yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> We've been great friends for a long time. What's it like being out on tour with uh, Hillsong United, this new, the new record and all the things you're pretty excited about? Yeah, it's, it's been great. I mean, there's, there's, uh, there's a lot of lights and, you know, all sorts of crazy <laughs> stuff going on. So it's, yeah. um, the, the concept was um, like, you know, there's like lots of keyboards and lots of like kind of crazy guitar sounds and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, to, to put it all together was, was hard, but it was fun. Yeah, it's fun. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. And how long did it take you to make the record? It took about nine months. Yeah, it was a good, so, uh, good long time. I yeah, you guys yeah. were up in New York and that's right. Yeah, they couldn't walk together. And, yeah. And uh, where did you mix the record at? Uh, we mixed it in. Were you up in New York? When you were no, we, were, we went back to England. Back home, yeah. It's oh, funny because for a second I was like, <laughs> I was like a black hole of my, yeah, my yeah, life. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, we went back to England and um, yeah, Sam Gibson was mixed a lot of our stuff today. So. Fantastic. Um, it sounds amazing. Yeah, well, I was, I was, I was pretty happy with it. There's, for a little bit. It was real difficult, but then it all kind of came together at the last bit. You know, yeah, and so. you you were part of the writing or something with it. Yeah, well. yeah. Um, um, so it's good, you know. I'm I'm happy with like right, the sounds and stuff. It's cool. You came in at the very beginning, as I came on as the artist relations yeah. guy for visual sound. Yeah. You were you and Butch Walker were the very first. You were playing with Butch at the time. Yeah. And uh, you've been with Visual Sound ever since. Yeah. And uh, what is it that keeps you with Visual Sound? Um, I still use the Route 66 or, or the Declan Hyde, depending on, on the situation. I have a bunch of pedals when I'm in the studio that we, you know, even putting keyboards through like the open road or something crazy like that, it, it actually does a lot to um, change it up quickly. So we used, um, like I use the Route 66, the compressor side of it a lot for, like I've got lots of different compressors, but you can just make, um, really really crazy sounds of them with, yeah. that, with that compressor so I, I use that a bunch and um, yeah the delay stuff's been great so so a lot of the a lot of the um, the new United album we did a lot of the kind of more out there delays a lot of the longer yeah delays and stuff like that yeah because so. you guys have been using the dual taps and now yeah, you, and right. all the boards have uh, either the single <laughs> or the dual yeah. the keys right even the keys the yeah. Yeah. It's been great. what about you Dylan tell me a little bit about um, your experiences um, with uh, Visual Sound? Yeah, I mean, well, Michael was kind of introduced me to Visual Sound, and I um, got, had one of the first edition Jekyll and Hyde's, and I was like, wow, this sounds great. And then you guys brought the new one with the um, the shinier tap switches and stuff like that. And so then I had the Root uh, the 808, which has been awesome. And then, um, oh, the Root 66. Yeah, the yeah, 66. yeah, that's right. And, which uh, is the 808. Which, yeah, which yeah. Sounds, sounds great. And then, um, you guys, when we started recording the new album, you sent us over that the dual tap, and it was kind of like, wow, this kind of does so much. And then that, that kind of decay sound, which we got a bit obsessed with yeah. for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet. And, um, yeah. So now we've got we've got one of those on the board, which has been great. Yeah. Just the single side of that, and um, it's been great. And the one spot came, like was a fair while ago, and that was just so small and so handy, and powers your whole board. So it's been yeah. You guys run most of your stage off of the yeah. one spot. Yeah. So we. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Everything. Yeah. So, like even keyboards, um, with the polarity switcher and stuff like that. A lot of the, yeah. a lot of the other pedals from other companies that say they can't use any other power that we power <laughs> with one spot. Um, but the other good thing about one spot is, <clears throat> it, like, because my board, like, I can basically set up in Australia and use one spot Australian one, so I can go to Europe for yeah. a month or two months and just get a one spot for yeah, because we know, have many European. different versions yeah. of the one right. spot. Whereas, like the I don't know, it's just a headache trying to organize sure. all that stuff with other, you know. Um, Adapters and everything. Yeah, it's just still a thing. So I, like, whenever we do, like, you know, crazy touring schedules where we go to a whole bunch of different places, I just pack, like, basically all the ones, <laughs> all different ones, and just switch it out depending on where I am. Yeah. Um, 
and it means I don't have to like get these big ugly boxes and so sit on stage to convert it now. Yeah. Well, it's been, you know, a great privilege, obviously, to work with you for all these years. And, yeah. of course, Hillsong United is such an amazing impact uh, globally. And, uh, you know, we're so honored because if you look around this stage, there's visual sound stuff everywhere. Yeah. You have your choice of any pedals you could ever want, you yeah. know. So it's a great honor to, to be not just friends, but also that you guys find our products like, good enough to maintain and stay with. You know? yeah. So I'm excited to be here tonight. And uh, I'm glad you guys had a chance to come out here and check this out. And uh, if they're in your city, go see it. It is unbelievable. Peace. <laughs>